speaking. Uh, my name, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Gus. Um, today, uh, the folk festival and this place has been the greatest thing for me. Directors keep Ali for myself with my dogs and coming here, connecting with most, with most of you and doing music with most of you has been the highlight of the year for me. Uh, but for some personal reasons, I, um, this is the for me, this is, I have to move on. And I haven't been here in the past few days, I just couldn't be here. This afternoon, somebody, a dear friend came to me and he said, Gus, you must come. And I said, I just can't, I just can't do it. And he said, uh, she said, that, that selfish, you gotta, if you love your friends, they want to see you. Even for the last time, you gotta come and say, at least say goodbye to them. So that's why I'm here. I love poetry, I love Rumi, I love Rumi mysticism. And that's my Bible and my God and everything to me. So today I'm going to read you a poem that encapsulates my relationship with each and every one of you. Just before I read that poem, I feel a bit anxious, sad, and nervous about it. But however, what's comforting at this very moment is somebody who is not even has a body. I know that's a concept that most people don't understand, but that's okay. Somebody who's not even have a body comforting me, giving me true love that you can't get with any other human being. And now the poem which I'll read to you and afterwards my dear brother Phil is going to play a song that's one of my most favorite songs. We played it together or sang along with him. And the reason I love that song, whoever wrote that 50, 60 years ago, it is as though he wrote that song for me. So when I finish this Phil and I are going to sing that together. Another poem that encapsulates who I am and how I relate to it, all of you. The first three verses of this poem, I owe it to the poet who wrote this. This is not my poem, it's somebody else's. So to honor that person, that spirit who wrote this poem, uh, the first short Verses of the poem, I say it exactly as he said it, as he sang it, and then I read it in English. The title of the poem is called Ordinary Love. Tears are a secret. Tears are a secret. Smile is a secret. Love is the secret. So the three verses in original language. Ash rosist, labhand rosist, ash rosist. Now the English part of it. Tear is a secret. Smile is a secret. Love is a secret. My tears last night were the smiles of my love. I am not a story that you can tell, I am not a song that you can sing or a voice that you can hear or a thing you can see or something that you need to know. I am the common pain. Just scream me as loud as you can. A tree speaks to the forest grass to the desert, star to the galaxies, and I speak to you. Tell me your name. Give me your hand. Tell me your story. Give me your heart. I have found your roots. With your lips I have told the story of all lips. 
and my hands recognized yours. In the brightness of a solitude, I have tried with you for those who once lived. And in the darkness of a graveyard, I have sung with you the most beautiful song. Because those who died yesterday were the lovers who once lived. Give me your hand. Your hand and mine know each other. Like a cloud who speaks to the storm, like a grass that talks to the desert, like a rain that talks to the ocean, like a bird who talks to the spring, like a tree that talks to the forest, I speak with you. Because I understand your roots. Because my voice and yours are the same. They're all the same. They're all the same. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 